Hello, thank you for joining me once again on Obesity Universal Statistic House. On today's video tutorial, I shall be showing you how to estimate and interpret a nonlinear linear ARDA model using eViews. Okay, coming straight to our eViews page here, we have our data range from 1981 to 2018, giving us 38 observations. Okay, here we have the variables of interest. We have COR, which is crude oil revenue, PPT, which is petroleum profit tax, and RGDP, which is real gross domestic product. Okay, each of these variables here are in billions okay they are in billions of naira okay they are in billions of naira each of them okay basically they are in billions of naira okay basically the non-linear ARDA model examine the effect of positive and negative changes of the independent variables on the dependent variable okay it basically decomposes the independent variable into positive and negative changes all right it tells us if the effect of increase in a variable is the same as the effect of a decrease in a particular variable. I may need to also mention here that the nonlinear ARDM model is not an inbuilt estimator on eViews. Okay, so what you need to do basically is to download it through add-ins. And for you to download it, ensure that your computer is connected to an internet for you to download it. Okay, to download a nonlinear ARDM model estimator, simply click add-ins here. All right, click this add-ins here, then go to download add-ins. All right, then you click it once, then you wait for some few seconds and different forms of estimator, uh, estimators appears. Then simply scroll down, it's alphabetically arranged and look for non-linear ARDL as you can have it here, as you can see it here. You click it once, then click install. So since you already have it on my eViews, there is no point downloading it again. However, for you to download, ensure that it's highlighted, then click install, then it will be added to your eViews. So I have to close this. Now, to estimate a nonlinear ARDL model, we have to first of all run the ARDL. From there, we can estimate the nonlinear ARDL. All right, for us to estimate the ARDL first, you simply click Quick Estimate Equation. Your dependent variable comes first. Here we have RGDP, which is our dependent variable, space C, space COR, which is our first independent variable, then PPT, which is our second independent variable. Okay, come down to this method here, click this round down button, and select. ARDL. Okay. All right. Under, I will allow the eViews to do automatic last selection of four for dependent variable and four for independent variables for me. Under fixed regressors and trend specification here, click the drop down button and select constant and trend and check if they are both statistically significant. If they are, you retain them. However, if they are not, you simply restrict them. Okay. Each one of them or both of them. All right. Let's select constant and trend. Then click OK. Okay, as you can see, the constant and trend here are both statistically significant. Okay, reason being that the, the probability values here are both less than 0 0.05. So I'll return them in this model. All right, from this result page here, click view. Then simply go to label. Okay, go to label, click it once. Under this column here, you type ASY, VARS, which is asymmetric variables. Okay, then come down to the right hand side here and type in your asymmetric variables. Okay, asymmetric variables here are the two independent variables. So we have COR space PPT, okay, which is petroleum profit task. Then you click out or press enter to move out from this column here. Okay, you click out, ensure you click out. All right, having done that, okay, having done that, I simply go to your addings and click make nonlinear ARDL. Okay, click it once and you have a nonlinear ARDL result here. As you can see, it has splitted. The crude oil revenue into positive and negative um, values as you can see here it has split it into positive and negative the ppt also have been split into positive and negative all right for us to check if this non-linear ARDM model have a long run co-integration relationship or equilibrium relationship simply click view okay go to correction diagnostics select a correction from from this error correction form you can see your bound test result which shows a long run equilibrium relationship between the dependent and dependent variables okay click it once then scroll down to see your bound test result as you can see here it's our bound test result which shows us whether there is a long run equilibrium relationship between the dependent variable and the independent variable in this nonlinear ARDM model as you can see here the f statistic value here is 6 points um, and is greater than the lower and the upper bound at 5% level of significance, which shows there is a long run nonlinear equilibrium relationship between the dependent and independent variable. Okay, it shows there is a long run nonlinear equilibrium relationship between the dependent and independent variable. Okay, because there is a long run equilibrium relationship, 
we can as well accept this ECM result. These are the short run estimates. Okay, okay. All right. Look at first of all, you simply look at this coin EQ open bracket minus one. This is the uh, one period lag error correction term. Ensure that it is statistically significant, negative and less than one. As you can see here, it made the three basic criteria. It is statistically significant, it is negative, and it's also less than one. All right, what this value here, which is if you multiply this by 100, gives us 74.15 percent. It shows that there is high speed of adjustment if there is if there is any disequilibrium in this system from the short run back to the long run. It shows that if there is any disequilibrium in this system, it takes an average speed of 74.15 percent for this nonlinear um, ARGL to adjust from the short run back to the long run. Okay, it shows that if there's any disequilibrium in this system, it takes an average speed of 74.50% to adjust back from the long run, from the short run to the long run, from the short run to the long run, basically. Okay, now if you look at your R square here, as you can see, the value here is um, 0 0.9603. If you multiply this by 100, you have 96.03%, um, which shows us that this model has a good fit. All right, the F statistic value here is also okay, going by the probability value here. As you can see, it is statistically significant, which means that overall significance of this model is okay because the probability value here is less than 0.05. We can as well look at the long run form of this nonlinear ARDL. Okay, for you to do that, simply click view, select coefficient diagnostics, then go to long run and bound test. From this bound, long run and bound test, you can as well get the bound test result, which is this, a replica of what we have earlier on. Okay, click it once. You have your scroll down a bit you have your bound test result here okay which is a replica of what you have earlier on okay this is your long run results okay of the two independent variables here we have the crude oil revenue split between the positive and negative effect as you can see here the positive effect of crude oil revenue have an insignificant relationship with our gdp however the negative effect of crude oil revenue have a significant impact or effect with the our GDP, as you can see, the probability value here is less than 0.05, while the probability value here is greater than 0.04, showing us there is no significant relationship with the post between the positive effect of crude oil revenue and our GDP, whereas the negative effect have a significant relationship with our GDP. Now, look at this coefficient value here. As you can see here, there is a negative sign. It simply tells us that the uh, if there is any increase in the crude oil revenue, the R GDP will take the opposite sign, which is which means it will reduce. What it simply means here is that if the crude oil uh, revenue increases by one billion, okay, the R GDP will reduce by zero point seven seven nine two billion. Remember, the values are in billion naira. Okay, looking at the negative um, um, effect here of crude oil revenue, it simply tells us here, but going by this sign here, that both of them will go in opposite direction. Okay, they'll go in opposite direction. What simply means that if the crude oil revenue here reduces by one billion, because negative simply is going down. Okay, if it reduces by one billion, the crude—I mean, the our GDP will increase by two point four two two billion naira. Okay, remember this negative simply means if it's, this is going down, and this negative coefficient, coefficient means it will take the opposite direction. Okay, now if you look at the PPT here, it has a positive coefficient, and it is also statistically significant. Okay, what this uh, positive petrol profit tax simply means here is that if a uh, petrol profit tax increases by one billion, or uh, yes, increases by one billion, the R GDP will increase by uh, eight point six seven billion naira. Okay, between nineteen eighty one and twenty eighteen. Okay, however, if you look at negative um, effect of petrol profit tax here, as you can see, the value here is positive. It simply means they will go in, um, what is it called? They will go in um, the same direction. Okay, they will go in um, the same direction. What it simply means that if petroleum profit tax here reduces by one billion, okay, reduced by one billion, the R GDP will also reduce by eight point eight three billion because the positive sign here simply shows that they will go in the same direction. They will move along the same direction. So what it simply means that if petroleum profit tax reduces, that this negative means is going down, reduces by one billion, the R GDP will also reduce by. 8.83 billion because they have to go in the same direction okay so basically this is how to estimate a non-linear ERDM model and also look at the long run form as well as the ECM form and also the um, the bound test which shows the long run equilibrium relationship between the dependent and independent variable okay so if this is your first time of coming to our channel to watch our video kindly click the subscribe button 
to get more video updates on analysis okay thank you for watching